Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode 1 of season 4 of Subnautica. We are going to be playing hardcore mode this season. So, it is a survival mode with one life, no O2 alerts. If I die, my save gets completely deleted. It's going to suck if I die to a bug, but we're going to do it in an experimental because I don't want to miss out on cool new features to see. If I die, I will list it in the title. I will say life one, life two, life three, life four, stuff like that. So let's get straight into it. Attention. Here we go again. Woo! Bye bye, Aurora. Goodbye again, old friend. Oh, shit. So, now that I think about it, so that gun, I guess, couldn't charge fast enough to shoot the uh life pot as well as the aurora i would assume that's how it is oh god the fire i'm pretty sure an experimental last season there wasn't even a fire to put out i don't think it loaded properly from memory i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's how it was all right here we go this is your pda initializing pda in emergency mode this program will catalog your inventory, record essential information, and issue survival advice as necessary. It has one directive, to keep you alive on a hostile, hostile plan. Good luck. Alright, so, first thing we will need is a repair tool. If I can actually figure out where I'm going in this. Alright, repair tool scanner. So we need cave sulfur. Cave sulfur? Two salt deposits and titanium. The fuck is cave sulfur? Ah, uh, what? Excuse me, um... Hello? Alright, so no reapers spawn nearby or anything like that? No, it looks like we're good. Okay, so we need cave sulfur. The Aurora suffered catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected in 100 meter range. Ah, uh, sick. <laughs> Ow, that hurt a bit. Thanks, crash fish, asshole. Oxygen. Oh, shit. You serious? Oh, man. I gotta remember that we don't have a lot of oxygen. Environment. Uncharted. Ocean planet. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, water contamination, high. What? It needs so much. Okay. He opened up, but he went back in. Okay, so... Wow. All right. So we're going to need, like, a fair bit of this stuff, right? Cave sulfur. That's fucked. Okay, so the repair tool needs one cave so far. Okay. And that and the laser cutter will need one. Okay, no problem. So we just need the two salt deposits and the titanium. That's no issue at all. Alright, we just find one more salt deposit and then we get our piece of titanium from like a limestone chunk or something. Now, bear in mind, this season, I'd probably and en gonna end up staying around the safe shallows with my base, just because of the lag issues we had last season when I built in the jelly shroom caves. That's more just for my sanity and you guys and girls' enjoyment. We are gonna lag a little bit as we load in the world here, but that is just fine. All we need to do is worry about getting... Okay, got to really watch out for that because they will fuck me. Let's just get some more cave sulfur. I miss the old crash fish powder. What the fuck, dude? Okay, we should have... No, we need more... Oh, shit. 
Everything, I swear, I feel like I'm struggling a lot more now that I know that it's I've got one life and I'm fucked. It's very strange. It's like I know that I can die in one one life, so I'm like really nervous about it. Can we like please find another salt deposit? It seems like when once I found the first couple, it's so easy to find. But before that, I always feel like I struggle just to find salt deposits. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability mm. of survival has just increased by 11%. Thanks. Fantastic. Got plenty of titanium now. Okay, we need to stay still for a sec. There's salt. I can see it right there. Where's the aurora? Oh, it's behind us. Okay. It's interesting. Alright, let's look for salt on the way back as well. How are we going inventory space-wise? Oh, we're good. Well, we don't have a sea glide and stuff inside our inventory, so I guess it does help a bit. Hmm. Yep, more salt right there. There we go. Beautiful. And we will need some silicon. Which means we'll probably have to head, I think it's that way, to get the silicon that we need. Okay, so let's just get up in here and get our repair tool made. Okay, beautiful. We get our repair tool made, so for this we're going to need a battery and titanium, which means we're going to need copper and acid mushrooms. We'll just get this repaired super quickly so we can start to generate a med kit for ourselves so we don't die. There we go. Okay, let's just take one of these with us as well. Get everything we need to get repaired in here repaired. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. Estimated arrival time, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine hours. Now scanning frequencies for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, here we go. Alright, so acid mushrooms. No problemo. Boom, boom. We also need to convert our metal salvage into titanium. Why did I swim all the way down there when I got acid mushrooms right onto my life pod? I do some silly things sometimes. Okay, let's just get this converted. Right, quick. Good. good. Alright, beautiful. So now... We just need a battery. Which is under electronics. Battery. Then we can make ourselves our scanner. Boom. Scanner. And then we'll just need the silicon rubber. From salvaged technology and to record alien biological data. Beautiful. Actually, we should get some fins as well. What's our fins need? And our O2 tank as well, even. So we can go high capacity would need uh, we need to build the standard first, which means we need glass, which we can make right now. Good stuff. Let's just make ourselves a standard O2 tank. And we'll need silver ore for the high capacity as well. Okay, good. Now we need fins, which is more silicon rubber. Okay, so let's just go get that right now. Let's get that sorted out. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice just went kind of croaky. Let's just get the silicon rubber sorted out. And then we can move on with getting our knife and our fins. And then we can move on. We're trying to find these fragments for the sea glide while we're out as well. If I could find a creep vine forest. Which I don't even see any in any direction at the moment. What the fuck? I swear there's one over here, right? Have they changed the layout? No, they wouldn't have changed the layout of the safe shallows. No way. That would be just ridiculous, honestly. Huh. 
I'm just very confused where the fuck this creep vine stuff is, and it's getting on dark too, so... I'm gonna be struggling to see these fragments for this sea glide as well. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. I mean, I really like the new quartz texture though, it's pretty easy to see. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was swimming in... Well, I think there is a creep vine over there, but it was way further away than what I needed to go. This is the one near the Aurora, though, which makes me a little bit nervous. We've gone... Hmm. A bit further across than what I wanted to, but that's okay. Now, we got to be very careful for stalkers here. Um, I think... I know they reduced the lubricant cost to only one uh, creep vine cluster. I don't think they changed silicon, so that's still two. I mean, I would have just preferred if they took up less room in your inventory. That would have just been better for me, because it's extremely frustrating. They take up so much, but oh well. Let's grab as many as we can. Okay, good. Can I just scan the normal... No, well, I guess I only scanned the creep vine itself. I didn't scan the cluster, did I? Alright, so let's swim and get our... Our knife and our fins. Are you serious? The guy next door is gonna run his fucking tractor. Dude, come the fuck on. He does this, like, nearly every day now. It's starting to really piss me off, man. Hear that shit? I bet you you can hear it when I talk. Fuck's sake. Wait, it's only one? Oh, wow. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it because I'm not gonna stop recording now to wait half an hour for him to be done with what he's fucking doing. Alright, so we got this, we got the knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the map. On Prime. Did that not use my silicon rubber? Oh, I made two per one? What? Sorry about that. What? That's ridiculous. Okay, anyway. Let's just clear out some inventory space. Alright, so now if we want to make the sea glide... Ingredients unknown, okay. Now, we should be faster, in general. Now, we just need to see where we are. All right. Now, we need to go looking for these sea glide fragments. I don't know whether we're going to get them in the next three minutes before this episode ends. But we will continue to look regardless. Let's see if we can find them. That's why I'm scared to go into the caves at the moment, because those assholes are down there and they will fuck my shit up. Alright, let's just eat and drink. Make sure we stay healthy on all the num-nums. We don't want to go dying here. Okay. Hmm. Seems. I don't know whether it's just me, but... Well, I guess by this point... Like, by the point I get to in a lot of these games, they're all got All the little crash fish are gone because... It will blow up, so it just seems at the start of the game there's so many of them, but really there's not. There's just normal amount. It's just, yeah. You kind of forget they exist after a while, because they normally cause you zero issues later on in the game. But at the start, they can really fuck you up. Alright, so I'm not seeing any fragments of any kind at the moment. Try not to get killed by the gas pod. As he pollutes the air with toxic shit. Hmm. Oxygen. I thought it doesn't give you oxygen warnings anymore. Strange. Give me a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. now we're fine, we're good. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. What is this? A lab counter. What? 
The fuck? Okay. I don't remember that being here, but no problem. That's cool with me. Hmm. Not breaking any records here, folks. Oh. We had a sea glide up and running at the start of last season by the end of episode one, I'm pretty sure. But this season, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just struggling to find that those fragments. And I know it's like speedrunners, just like they, they find them so quickly. And I just get so confused with the lay of the land sometimes that I can't find them that quickly. Hmm. Alright, so we got one from that wreck. Oxygen. Okay. Okay. And I was like, are we even in hardcore mode? But I checked. We are. We're definitely in hardcore mode. What the fuck? Oh my god. Does every animal and tractor and person just want to make noise today? Here we go. Alright, 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 alright. Right. We got this. Now what? We're going to do it by the end of the first episode, because why the fuck not? What do I need for it? Battery, lubricant, copper wire. Ooh. Um, that means I'd have to get some limestone chunks. Shut the fuck up, dog. Holy shit. This world hates me today. Everything, like, you might as well just send a fucking atom bomb outside my house at this point, because just everything hates me so badly today. I swear, those limestone chunks may be even harder to spot than what they used to be. I thought it would make it easy with a d distinctive shape, but I'm struggling here. To see any. Just a little bit. Thanks for the warning game. And we're definitely in hardcore mode, because I can't just click the save button. I can only save on exit. Hmm. Which is probably what's going to fuck me more than anything, to be honest. I'll, like, do something stupid, go to save, realize I can't save, and then I'll get screwed over because I forget. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're out. We got another message. That's the least of my concerns at the moment. My only concern is finding more copper. So I can try and make the sea glide before we end off the episode because we're already nearly two minutes over time. Because I cannot find copper. Come the fuck on, dude. I just want some limestone chunkerinos. Here we go. This is what I was trying to find. This is the good shit. This is where you get plenty of them. Give me more copper. More. I think I need three. I believe I need three because two will be taken up by copper wire. There we go. One and done, son. Lubricant, we can do that. Yep, we're good. Alright, yeah, I was trying to do that. I was just getting up there. Man, my life pod is awfully close to the Aurora, I feel. I feel like it is very close to the Aurora this season. Okay, make the copper wire. Then we make the battery. Then we make the... Lubrication... Which we can't because we don't have this out. Boom. Alright, lubricant. And now, finally, we make the sea glide. Hell to the year. Alright. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, Hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.